There's another controversy brewing in the nation's capital. This one surrounding the wife of Vice President Mike Pence. Turns out Karen Pence has a job teaching at Emanuel Christian School with calls on its employees to lead a personal life of what the institution calls moral purity. The school identifies homosexual activity and same-sex marriage as, quote, moral misconduct and thus a disqualifying factor for students and employees. The Second Ladies Association with Emanuel Christian, where she instructs art part-time, has predictably drawn fire from major LGBT advocacy groups. Uh, the vice president himself has called this a religious test, uh, which we don't have in this country. Jessica, what's your read on all of this? I guess it's a slow week for LGBT activists uh, that need to have something to pick on. You know, this is a, a Christian school. It's a private school. There's no taxpayer money going to the school, unlike our drag queen story hours here in Houston at our public libraries. So I don't understand what the controversy is. It's not a secret that Christians believe in marriages between one man and one woman. And it's no surprise that a Christian school would want to advocate that. So this is a bunch of nothing. This is just another group, uh, a leftist activist movement to try to bring, you know, dis, uh, disparage Republicans on just something that many Christians, millions of Christians, uh, obviously around the world believe in. Okay, let's face it. The vice president represents millions of folks mm -hmm. who are of uh, a different orientation. And we have religious, we have freedom of religion in this country. So don't go to that school if that's not what you believe. Now, Yance, jump in here. So we want to make sure that the Republicans don't own morality. That's number one. They don't own hmm. what the moral purity is, but what we all have a right to is privacy. But we're private citizens. Now, the second lady, she's a public citizen, but I do not think that if you have people on both sides saying that she should leave the school, I think she's an art teacher. I don't know what the, the code of conduct or the rules are for the school that I send my daughter to. I just know that, you know, they have an ac a great academic program. I enrolled her in it. I didn't pull out the book to see all of the things. And I'm sure that if I did, maybe there'd be some of the things I'd be like, oh, I'm not even living by that rule. But at the same time, this is not what's important when people don't have money to feed their families with. This is not something that I believe that the Christians believe is something that needs to be focused on. If we're supposed to be breaking bread together and if they, I don't think that, uh, Mrs. Pence, uh, that's the, whatever, second lady Pence, I don't know what to call her. I don't believe that she's trying to instill her values on the country. And she's not in a position of power. She's not the president. She's not the vice president. And it's not the first lady. And I really honestly think that there's too much fodder being made of this. If that's called moral purity, I don't even know what that means. They okay, okay. They hold, hold on here for a second. I don't you know, know what it means. We, we had institutions Please. like country clubs who excluded folks based upon uh, a characteristic. Uh, is that apples and oranges? Go ahead, Ben, no. anybody. No, look, um, it's a religious institution. They're going to be expected <laughs> to advocate what they believe inside their classrooms. It's a legitimate test. I think if it were ever challenged in court, and we've already seen the outcome. Real quick, come on. Mm -hmm. Look, I did not send my children to uh, Catholic schools because I didn't really believe in Catholicism. So that's my view. So I decided not to send them there. I sent them to Episcopal schools. But when the Episcopal school closed and we had to rush to get him one, he spent a semester at a Catholic school. Mm -hmm. I, I made that decision. And it's not because I agree with what they stand for. I, they had a good education. Well, you got to leave it right there. 